Radical Rides with Rat Rod Ray. All right, here we are with my cool little car. It's a 1971 Fiat Spider. Um, the Spiders were made for a long time, I think from about 68 all the way up until 82 uh, was the last year of production of these. So they made an awful lot of them. They were a really inexpensive car in their day, and they still are a really inexpensive car. Why? Because a lot of them rusted out, and since they were a cheap car to begin with, they've always kind of been relegated to one of the lowest levels of sports cars. But they're really kind of a cool car if you can find a nice one. This one is an incredibly nice one. It's actually original paint. I got it from the original owner. And what you're looking for with one of these cars is rust. There's very, very prone to rust. So you need to check the rocker panels and the quarter panels and things like that because this is a unibody car. And if there's rust in the unibody, then the car isn't sound and you really got to watch out. It's not like a car that sits on a frame. So, but I only paid, ready for this guys, a little over $2,000 for this little cream puff that had less, it had about 74,000 original miles on it from the original owner in original paint. Really quite a cool little find. Let me show you how just how clean this little cream puff is. Okay, original liner and original spare tire with original paint throughout. Wow, check it out down in the above the wheel wells. The insides of the fender, inside of the fender is actually painted from the factory. Look at how nice this is. So this is an incredibly nice example. The shock towers are very prone to rust. Watch out in that area. Okay, what makes these cars really cool is they're really a lot of fun to drive. They're dual overhead cam. This particular motor in 71, they went to the 1600 motor. The 1600 is one of the most desirable. It's one of the highest revving. Um, it's one of the, although they went to an 1800 and ultimately a 2000, the 1600 is one of the more, more desirable ones. This is a carbureted motor. Um, when I got this uh, car, it needed some work. Um, I had to re-ring it at a whopping cost of, I think it cost me $51 uh, for the ring set. And I completely redid all the suspension, upper and lower ball joints, etc. Uh, I think the ball joints were, I think, around $13 a piece. Bushings, I think, were about 8 bucks a piece. So what makes these cars really cool is they're very user-friendly and very, very serviceable by the owner. You can buy one of these things for a couple thousand bucks. You can work on it. It'd be a great project for a son and father to get together and build together. And at the end of the day, you got a car that will actually do freeway speeds. Um, you, they'll do 80 miles an hour at about, I think it's about 5,000 RPM. So you are, or 4,500, you are tacking it up a bit. But the motor doesn't rev line until 6,500. So, like I say, these Italian dual, dual overhead cams. Um, in this case, it has a rubber timing chain. So you need to make sure that if you get one of these, change the timing chain because especially the 1600s, they're interference motors. So if you break the timing chain, you'll bend your valves. Um, so don't do that and have fun. They're a lot of fun and now's the best part. Let's go for a drive. Let's put the top down. We've got a beautiful sunny day here in Oregon, although it's, uh, gee, here we are in the middle of January. It's about 65 degrees and it's a top down day. So let's go for a ride. Okay, the first thing you'll notice about this is there's a lot of leg room. Second thing is you can put the top down while seated in the driver's seat with one hand. These are really cool cars. Like the MGBs, the top comes down in a bunch of little parts and it fits in the trunk and it takes away your trunk. This car still has a trunk, top goes down. There's actually a back seat. It's kind of silly. Obviously not made for humans, but the dog loves it. And uh, a few bags of groceries, no problem. So these Italian dual overhead cams, carbureted, a little cold, choke doesn't work quite perfect, but that's okay. Got that great Italian exhaust note.
Okay, that's a Pina Farina emblem. That's right, guys. Fiat, this body was built by Pina Farina. They did the Ferraris and the Maseratis and all the good Italian cars. Okay, the dash is pretty cool. It's got a lot of style. They use this wood grain. They got the tachometer and the speedometer. Um, you know, they're very, very cool little cars. They got a lot of room for style. This one's done very stock because it is such an original little cream puff. But uh, you can have a lot of fun customizing these things and you can buy them right, guys. Take a look on the internet. Okay, when we're talking about small sports cars from the 70s, you got your choice. You got your Fiat Spider, you got your Triumph TR3, TR6. Uh, that's a single overhead cam, kind of a truck motor, not very high revving. Um, you've got your Porsche 914, cool little car, but quite a bit smaller. Uh, doesn't nearly have the trunk room that this thing has. Or an MGB, MGB two-piece top, takes up the trunk. My choice is the Fiat Spider. They're fun and cheap. Have fun, guys. Happy motoring.